preparations for experiment number four. So when I get to my final shoot site, I will only have four inch mortars instead of the whatever it is, 10 inch that I've been playing with. So these bottles that I've been using are too big. They're, they're five inches tall, so they're not really gonna fit in there real well. So I got these other bottles. These are a lot shorter, a couple inches, less than a couple inches around and a couple inches tall. And I epoxied an igniter into each one of them. And I'm gonna set them capped down like that. So that's why the igniter is in the side and near the cap instead of near the bottom. When I get there, they're gonna be tied kind of like this, except rather than a rubber band, it will be a zip tie. I have these plates, they're three and a half inch plates, and I got some notches in them to just kind of stabilize the zip tie from moving around once it gets on there. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna to do some practices. I'm gonna run off four of these just to make sure that this idea of having a plate works. But this is my eight inch plate, which goes with my, my 10 inch mortar. And then this will be the powder, except it'll have an igniter in it at that point. I'll dump that into one of those so that it'll then be upside down like this, like that one is. I used half 1FG and half 2FG in just a little bit of titanium sponge because it was suggested to me to do that. And I made up some 1.25 ounce bottles that are ready to go for both for experimentation tomorrow and for the final show. And that is about it. So tomorrow we'll see what these look like. See you tomorrow.